What's up, guys? Welcome to today's class. Super excited to be here with you guys. See you guys blowing up in the chat, like always. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So I'm using two different tools. I've got, this is uh, available on our online store, Shop FSE. OGs in the chat, please write the website so everybody knows, shopfse.com for free salon education. This is my scissor created by Mizutani. Love this thing. It's on there, it's for sale. It's should be, you should see it, I think on the front page, but just go through it. And then the Sesabon comb, I love this thing, is available on there as well. So if you guys are looking for any new tools, I'm gonna work diagonal, slight diagonal back partings all the way through it. And I'm gonna use the looser teeth of the comb for now uh, because I don't want a ton of tension on the hair. I wanna bring the hair out, natural tension, and then cut to keep my line nice and balanced. I don't wanna pull the hair, especially if they have any calyx or anything. I don't wanna pull the hair too much from where it wants to live. Comb the hair back and make my first parting. I'm gonna bring this hair out to my finger. I bring the hair to me, I'm gonna cut it nice and close to the head, but it's still gonna have a little bit of a softer feel because I am gonna keep it a little bit longer for now. I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of scissor over comb work. We're working on getting more worldwide options. We do have quite a few things that we ship to the UK. All right, couple more sections. As I work through, now I wanna cut this in half. I'm not scooping up all this hair here. I'm just gonna take some of it, pull it into my hand, and right over top of where it lives, go through and cut. Now, one thing I wanna stress is not to over direct too much. So this will be our last section on the side here. Again, coming out from where it lives. So there is our first side right there. See, everything's pretty consistent throughout. You can go in and do a little scissor over comb work if you want to, just to detail it a bit. I'm gonna go through, just soften this. I'm literally dusting the ends, not taking too much off of each bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I would look in the mirror straight ahead. I would start combing my client's hair back and I would start looking for where that kind of matches up on the opposite side. Start to comb it and then I'll make some adjustments. Back so you can see the other side. Now I comb this hair back. Again, I'm just gonna work back to the ear, comb the hair back. So here's where things change a little bit body position wise. As you're working through, so it doesn't start to drop down so that you stay consistent with your elevation throughout the section. So here we go. Now, how do you find the guide for both sides? I like to cut an error on the side of being longer. It's gonna sound a little generic. I just error on the side of it being a little bit longer. And then I can take a look at the two sides and really just match them up with my eyes. It might sound a little crazy, but you can do it. And then I know that all I gotta do is just dust a little bit more off this and that will match it up to the opposite side. So now I've got my panel. I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna come up, just dust it. This is cutting it now horizontally. Sorry if I'm in the way there. It's now cutting it horizontally. So you're just cross-checking your section through. All right, and we'll smooth that out and style it later. We'll take a diagonal back parting like that. Comb that back out of the way. And I'm just gonna continue working through. Um, just an evolution of, of thoughts. I go here, keep this nice and saturated so I can see. Thank you, Becca, I appreciate it keeping that saturated so I can really see guideline and everything that I'm creating. So here we go, bring the hair out. See my guide right here in the haircut. Remember, we're working a line and the hair is coming straight out from where it lives. Now we're going into the nape like that, creating that line. There's my line right there. Continue my diagonal back partings. This is where things become a little bit more difficult. Continuing the consistency of bringing that new hair All right, so we're just working. Just wanna continue working these lines throughout. Again, don't go on top of that crown. So let the hair start to just come to you at this point, instead of you starting to follow up around the head. People constantly talk about horizontal, cutting a bob horizontally, cutting a bob vertically, and how it makes it different. It doesn't make it different, a different way of cutting it, so the outcomes end up being different, but that's because it changes your body position, changes your thought process, so you think about things different. Uh, so then your outcome becomes different. If you understand both ways, your outcome won't be different. Continue this parting backwards. She's 
you guys can't see that. So now we're back to the right side. And we've only got this tiny bit to cut now. So I wanna connect these two sides together, working diagonal back. I'll cross into those other sections and then that'll allow me to cross check this. Here, now I'll be able to see the guide and I'll just connect those two together. So moral of this story guys, this is pretty simple. As long as you stay consistent and cut over top of your part. As soon as you go away from that, you start building weight where you didn't want it, that's where it becomes much harder. So remember that back comb is a great way to pull the guide up to that new section. Body position is super weird right now. Again, don't round up the head. Keep everything coming out so that it builds weight. This will be my last section here. So now I've got this top which is super long. You guys could decide, do you want this to be a disconnected pixie cut? I mean, I'm not gonna let you decide today. We're doing a true traditional, but in the salon, you can decide because this is how you could cut a disconnected pixie as well. So here, directly over, there's my guide. Sorry, and I said parallel to the floor. I meant parallel to the wall. We're gonna work parallel to the wall. Changing my mind. I'm allowed to do that. And I'm going to bring the hair out. I'm gonna cut a line straight up to start, which will leave a little bit of length here. I'm not gonna keep all of that length, but I want it for now because I want to see how the calic reacts. Cut that in half, move to the next, pivoting around. Come straight out from where it lives, cutting a straight line, short, short point, uh, parallel to the wall. Now you can see that bevel starting to happen. Same thing here, straight out, the guide comes from underneath. If I was cutting a stationary guide, I would obviously be pulling all that new hair to the stationary guide. So I'll scoop up both sides, but my last comb would be to pull that guide over top of the new section. Got that cut, you can see that little bit of weight through there. Now I'm gonna change things up a little bit, do some point cutting. Now on top of this section, I'm gonna bring everything straight up. You can see now that weight line that we've created on the top from going straight out. I wanted to blend this, and now I wanna take some of that that excess weight off. So I'm gonna come up here and then I'm gonna point cut in. So instead of it being straight out like it was, we're going up and I'm gonna point cut because I wanna start creating some texture, point cut. Now, if they have a crazy calic, leave it a little bit longer in that area, that's okay. You don't have to cut everything exactly the same length. Length helps control that calic. So again, up over top of the section, point cut through. Direct up, point cut. See, it starts to pop some texture. So we're cutting it flat across the top like this. That's leaving weight here because this is coming all the way up. So there's gonna be a slight corner and some hair we cut later. Be a slight corner there. We're gonna come over, connect these two together. So just working through the top. This is also a point where you need to make the choice. Do you want a longer fringe? If you want a longer fringe, then you might wanna start over directing back at this point. Today, we're going traditional pixie, nice and short. Do not wanna cut or over direct it back. Um, I want this shorter. Push it forward, over top, no over direction on this. And I will cut into this fringe to make it more fun and suitable. So there's that. So now I wet that down and I'm just gonna take a little bit from this section and I'm gonna blend the line parallel to the side of the head. I'll bring this hair out and I'll cut straight up. Now we blended that side. So now we just gotta do the same thing on this left hand side and then we will be ready to start styling and then refining the haircut. So. Uh, great question, Amy. Great question. Is this a square layer? As of right now, in the back or in the sides and the top, I cre I'm creating a square, but not square like you think, like not square like this, even though that is what we're creating. Um, so if you go to school and you learn this way, this is square, yes, but square as in I'm creating a line that goes straight across this way and a line that does go straight across this way. It's a flat line. On the sides though, we created round layers. So we followed the head shape and created a round layer. You gotta separate those two. So it's not a full square haircut. Both, older nose, figure out where the heck I'm at. Now to the top, take those same sections, hold them up in the air, grab from the opposite side just to see the more of a guideline over top of where that section comes out and cut. Check our length. Remember this front, or here. I'm not pulling the hair back because it would create too much length into the front. All right, getting fun. Now I'm gonna blow it dry. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna do a little scissor over comb work. So I'll tilt her head down. You see some of that, those longer parts. I'm gonna scoop the hair up into my comb and I'm gonna cut across. Now this, so here, I'm gonna round off the weight line, kind of like we did in the rest. And then I'll just point cut into it. So some of you are saying, how do you take the nape shorter and not have it look like a hard line? My recommendation is scissor over, leave it a little bit longer, scissor over comb it to the length you want, but lifting this hair up and cutting it here makes it shorter right in here, but leaves a little bit of length around the edges. So then you can just go in and point cut into it, make it nice and soft, natural, broken kind of feel to it. Last thing I want to do, of course, this is why I came out with this thing, why it's my favorite tool, and that's the tri razor. I'm going to show you guys a couple tricks top here to create some texture. This is great for men's cutting and women's cutting. Doesn't matter. It creates texture in all of it. Side that cuts 100% of the hair right here. So you can do traditional razor cutting. Then you've got a texture 25 side that will take out 25% if you cut the hair this way. And then you've got 50% you can take out if you cut the hair this way. So, right, so almost drawing an X on the top. I go here, draw my X, comb this hair back, take my Velcro clip and just slide it into the hair. That'll keep it held away from me. And then I go in here, texture 25. And if they have super thick hair, I'll go right at the base. And if they have skinnier hair, then I'll go mid shaft. And I just slide into the hair. And then that takes out 25%. Then what that'll start to do is create this like really cool notched texture in the haircut. And it'll break up that perfect kind of feel to add in some texture into the haircut. Now I'm gonna come back the other way. So you'll see when I comb it out, you can see that texture, see those little channels. But when you put product in it, it just comes to light. Now I'm just gonna go in a little detail into the front. This little detail work, pinch, cut, pinch, cut. Again, somebody that wants a soft front for their hair. And just really, you can take any little pieces that you see, you wanna create a little texture with or remove a little weight. So like here, if it feels a little heavy, a little weighted, uh, what I can do, section away some of this length because I like the length. But underneath here, I want it to be nice and soft. Clip this up, Velcro clip holds the hair perfect right out of my way. Now I can take my 50% and just kind of carve through it. Um, you won't have any problems. It's not going to pull the hair. It's kind of fun too. Like if you go through here, this little part, this kind of stuff I can just literally do all day. But I won't make you guys watch that. So here, now look at all that texture, movement, fun. You can style this however you want. If you want it to be a little bit more messy, can be. It doesn't have to be, you know, perfect. I think that's, you're seeing the celebrities that are wearing their hair like this. This is more my style, just having a ton more texture, texture all over the place, you know, that kind of vibe. So that'd be a fun little collab that me and him could do. That'd be fun too, Johnny, if I just mail you this head and then you just take it shorter. That'd be pretty sweet. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you later.